guys racing the red light. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. What? Nothing. You like my realism? Commentary. <coughs> well, it's only been bred into these people. <coughs> <coughs> well, I don't know if it's breeding or it's just the urge to go fast and stop. Does it live fast, die young? Supposed to clear up? <laughs> I don't bother checking the weather. Oh, right. It's never terrible enough that I really need to bother, unless it's the winter time. Check on her phone. You can't tell me that sitting on a streetcar would be better than this. Or not be better than What? Sitting on a streetcar. Oh. Well, I don't know. Something safer. People aren't, you know, off in their own worlds and driving a big giant vehicle that can kill someone. I don't know the practicality of putting things like that in out here. Yeah, well, cars are certainly wasteful enough that people don't seem to give a shit. And of course all the bumps in the road that no one else cares about. that actually merely, oh no, there's, you know, right there, but I mean, you're running buses up like 20 degree hills, and you know, granted they're CNG or LNG, but it's still wasteful in itself, you know, you need like a simple hill climber train vehicle, you know? Yeah. What? Well, no, I, I, I'm just, I don't know what a simple hill climber train Well, I mean, you know, one of those... Things that are like angled, the tracks angled, but the fucking car is flat, right? Yeah. There you go. Got them at like. I have one in downtown LA, costs like 50 cents to ride. I think I have one at Six Flags Magic Mountain. You know, get people to walk around a little bit, lose a little weight.
Yep, I saw that the other day. I wonder how much it costs.